This kitchen is full of detail. It's been very pre-thought out. Along with all the amenities like the extra deep farmhouse sink here, um, an 18 inch dishwasher. This is actually the Bosch dishwasher. Very quiet. Actually holds quite a bit of stuff. It's only six inches narrower than a regular dishwasher. They have a full-size counter depth fridge. This one has a freezer on the bottom. So you see all these amenities in the kitchen here that are the same as in a regular house, including a lot of cabinetry. We ended up putting a lot of upper cabinets in here for, for more storage for her. As you can see, we custom built all of our cabinets. To me, that's very important because you know that my model is no wasted square inches. So you can see here like these drawers are full extension rails. The drawer boxes are built the full depth of the cabinet. Whereas like if you went and bought a cabinet at a box store, this would be a couple inches shorter. You would lose a lot of square inches. Notice this beautiful countertop. This is actually a, a quartz marble countertop. It's gorgeous. And so being quartz, obviously it's not gonna take on stains. Um, tough stuff. She's going to be able to put hot stuff directly on it. It's going to maintain the wear and tear. When I designed this house with the client, we wanted it to not just serve them now as the coolest RV, but we also wanted it to age with them. Obviously, we're building these to last beyond a lifetime. So this particular client um, is going to use it as an RV for now, and then in the future, they want it to be their retirement home. So we did a lot of things with that in mind, including making a lot of storage closets in the house. I love the way we designed this ladder. It doesn't even feel like a ladder, it feels like stairs. It's the first ladder I've actually said, okay, I'll go back to having a ladder in my tiny house to get to the loft. It, it's very comfortable to go up and down. We calculated the distance uh, between each step very carefully. And then we also have like a gap here so you can grab as you're going up kind of as a handrail and then as you can see there's an extra handrail at the top for support and it's actually quite simple to put it away we have a track up there so you're going to lift get up put these hooks in the track right here and it will slide into its box and stow it away you can store so much in the floor to ceiling pantry including your appliances. All of these are full extension. There are 100 pound rails so they can take weight. This is a perfect height to put um, a toaster oven, your coffee maker. It's plugged in in the back back there. And then you put the shelf away when you're done. You don't have to waste any counter space for your appliances that you only use once or twice a day. That holds a massive amount of stuff. Great use of vertical space. Very nice large closet here. It houses the on-demand propane hot water heater. It also has the pumps for the tanks. There are actually tanks on this tiny house because they're going RVing. So they have a, a gray water and a fresh water tank on here. So all the controls for that are in here as you can see. It's also a great place to store the ladder. There's room for more clothes. There's this loft storage up here. You can see that there's the coaxial inlets here, the cap six wiring, DSL, however you want to use it, ready for you to create your wireless hotspot here. This ladder is for the second loft. I want to show you how easy it is to use and also to stow back away. Again, the edge of our lofts have a, a, a track in here for the ladder to hook into for safety. It folds, the folding mechanism here, latch the sides down, and hook it in. Hook it in wherever you want here. And we can go upstairs. But there's something upstairs I want to show you that's very cool. There are four trap doors hidden up here for storage and also to hide valuables. This loft is a very large loft. They're actually going to have a king size bed in it. And they have their TV here. That's also on a swivel arm so they could actually turn it and be watching from this side too. This loft was designed 
with the customer's possessions in mind. It's 12 feet deep. They already have a king size mattress they're going to use up here. And then they have some dressers and chests that fit up here very nicely for storage of what they want. This is still one of my favorite washer and dryer sets. It's what I started out with in my tiny home seven years ago. It does an amazing job. Two separate units. Clothes get dried all the way. If one breaks down, you still have the other one. In this bathroom, we have a composting toilet. But again, just like we always do when we put a composting toilet in, we put a water line in the back in case in time you decide you want to have a flush toilet. You have the plumbing already right there. I love designing spaces for pets. We understand how much people love their pets. This space right here was specifically designed for their two dogs. The reason we brought the windows all the way down as far as we did is because they want their dogs to be able to lay on the floor and still be able to see out. And we left the area sized for the dogs accordingly. Um, there's also a table they have that they're gonna be able to set up. They have it already. Um, it's gonna store in the closet and they'll bring it out when they want it. But this space right here was specifically designed for their two dogs. So in this particular design, I created a flex room for this client. Because right now they want to sleep in the lofts, but they may not always want to. So I have a room right here that I want to show you that I call a flex room. They're actually going to use as an office right now as they travel around. They still work. And then in the future, at any time, they can move their bedroom down here on this level if they want. There's enough room for a clean bed in here. They also have a TV in here and lots of windows. Check out the windows. My client loves to watch sports. He wanted to have a big TV. We've got a 52 inch TV here for him, but they love the ambience of a fireplace. This is an electric fireplace. His wife also wanted to be able to hang the Christmas stockings over the fireplace. So we made them now here to be able to fit all the children's stockings. She can still have the Christmas she dreams of in her tiny home.